we've got a post-show party to, to get through. We and we're going to really kick things off now in style with the fantastic Maggie Robertson. Oh, hi, 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 Lady D. Lady D. Hello. Hello. I'm so bad at pronouncing your in-game name. Please, can, can we have the voice? Oh, hello. You hi. do it. Yeah. Dom Lady Dimitrescu. Ooh, oh, that sounds oh, nice when you say it. it. Lady Dimitrescu. Oh my gosh, you're looking fabulous. Thank as you. Always. Thank you. So I'll sorry. try it now. Lady and Domitresque. You as well. Yes, there you Lady go. Lady no. Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> Lady Dimitrescu. Oh Ooh, my. with the voice. You have to do it with the voice. I think it helps <laughs> okay. with the pronunciation. I don't know, it's science. <laughs> so, hi, we've been cooped up in this little room, which is fabulous, but we haven't like felt the vibe downstairs. What's it been like tonight? Oh, it's been amazing. I mean, being here is really a dream come true, I think, for a lot mm. of us. So everyone's just really excited. And I know I personally am just so thrilled to be here and to be able to meet everyone yes. in person. And um, I am I feel so grateful to be a part of this community. Everyone I've met is just so lovely and supportive. And I love being a cheerleader for my now friends. I yeah. have been raving about your story, though, as well, because it's it's amazing to me that because we, we've chat, we chatted briefly before mm -hmm. virtually, but this was the first job you booked after moving to LA, pretty much. I think the uh, the first video game I right. ever booked, but I still think it's like job number three that I booked, right. having moved to LA, period. <sighs> Which so is it's incredible. still insane. Yeah. Man. Can I ask what was written on the casting call? <laughs> <laughs> I c probably couldn't tell you even if I wanted to. I don't remember, <laughs> is the thing. I know they were looking for tall ladies and I immediately raised my hand. I think <laughs> even in my room alone, I was like, hi, that's <laughs> me. Um, because so often my height is the thing that rules me out of a job. So then to find a breakdown where my height could actually be an asset and could be the thing that books me the job was really exciting. Yeah. So in so other words, you've opened you the door for tall ladies everywhere. Yes. Um, yes. And hat fans too. <laughs> Did you realize how big the hat was going to get? No. <laughs> <laughs> that mod is hilarious. <laughs> it is so funny. I think that one and um, Tiny Lady Dimitrescu is oh. really quite amusing to me. Those mods were hilarious. I love talking to you before or hearing you speak about um, how you got into the physicality of Lady D. Yeah. How, how her interior and exterior are a little bit different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I love performance capture because it is all about telling a story with just your body. You don't mm -hmm. have any of these other cues to rely on. So how can you create a really physically distinctive and telling character? Mm -hmm. And one of the techniques that I use is called Laban, and you can think about rhythms and you can play with internal versus external rhythms. So externally, she might be very calm and collected and fluid and sustained, but internally she's slashing and writhing and <laughs> you know all of these emotions are pent up inside there and i think that that uh dichotomy that clash against each other is what makes her feel very volatile and dangerous you don't know what she's capable of you just know she's badass and she could rip you apart <laughs> so yeah did you have any real world inspirations that you kind of looked to when you were putting it together Probably. I, I don't know if I pulled from any one thing. Shakespeare definitely was a huge influence on me. I had just finished a classical acting degree, mm -hmm. and I certainly feel that Lady D is very Shakespearean. She's incredibly heightened, and the stakes are really high. And uh, so I pulled a lot from that. And she has a real love of language, and she uses it really well, like a weapon. Mm -hmm. It's one of the weapons in her massive arsenal of weaponry. Um, so that's been really, that was really fun to play with. And how can I investigate language and sound and use sound as a tool? Mm -hmm. And stage um, experience is actually really helpful when it comes to mocap as well. Because yeah. uh, you draw upon you know, the, the sort of physicality of the, the, the space and I guess your imagination as well. Totally. I think performance capture is this perfect blend, actually, between theater and on camera. You have this really technical component, but then you have this really mm -hmm. imaginative space where, to me, it gets back to the root of why we all wanted to be actors in the first place, and that is just play. Yeah. You are allowed to imagine a world. If you are in a desert storm, you have to put yourself in the desert storm and be reacting to the wind and the sand in your face. Mm. And it's just make believe. It's everything you were doing as a kid. So to be able to have the opportunity to do that as a job is completely surreal and totally fun. And also, you know, you're in these skin tight suits. Nobody <laughs> has an ego. You can't have an ego because you're in a pajama suit <laughs> and you're doing weird <laughs> things all the time. So it's really just like, let's get weird oh, yeah. and let's do it. What's it like seeing people actually 
I guess, playing the game and, and reacting to you? Because <laughs> you get to see them react on an individual basis when they're streaming. It's not like the cinema where obviously everyone is, is oh, witnessing yeah. an audi yeah. as an audience at the same time. I'm, I'm guessing you've some, seen some people's reactions to seeing yeah. the game for the first time. That's a really interesting observation, and I don't know if I had ever thought of it in that way, that I get to see these individual reactions that you don't get to see when you go to the cinema. I, I think that's really special and unique, actually. Um, but it was hilarious. I mean, the reactions are hilarious. <laughs> the whole thing has been <laughs> hilarious. Um, I mean, no, you know you've made it when, you, when you've got BuzzFeed thirst tweets. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Ooh, a bathtub BuzzFeed <laughs> thirst tweets. <laughs> oh, I don't know. It's so hard. No, that was, <laughs> that was an amazing experience for sure. I was like, is this real? They, this, is a, this is a joke. And it must have been a surprise, though, when literally when the character was revealed, when the trailer happened, that's all oh anyone was talking yeah. about. was just Lady D, Lady D, step on me. Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. I never thought I'd say that during my the, uh, DMs the show. During that time. <laughs> oh, or oh. after that time. I was still under NDA. <laughs> my DMs during that time and currently are still um, a wild, wild world. Mm. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Oh, no. but that must have been pretty special, like just seeing, because you had to keep it quiet at first, but the reactions were just from the community were just incredible. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've ever seen anything quite that no. strong. Like, amazing stuff. Yeah, it was completely bananas and unexpected, and I think it was both a blessing and a curse that I was able to get a kind of a precursor of what to expect once my name actually went out into the public. Mm -hmm. It was nice to be able to have that time to adjust of like, oh, crap, okay, I guess this is going to be a really big deal. I should start to like prepare my life and wow, create yeah. a Twitter. I didn't have a Twitter. I got a Twitter. <laughs> uh, so I, I was like, I guess I should get that now. Um, so I was able to take those steps to make sure that I was ready for release. Mm -hmm. But then, you know, the pressure then mm. to amount to all the hype mm -hmm. was pretty extreme and to be able to deal with that amount of attention on you because I'd gone from zero to a hundred. I was completely invisible and now I was very, very visible. So yeah. it's been, it's been wild. Was gaming something you'd set your sights on when you moved to LA or did it kind of take you by surprise? No, it absolutely took me by, I mean, the <laughs> whole thing is, that's why it's so wild. Everything has been a surprise and a very pleasant one at that. Mm -hmm. I came to Los Angeles with the intention of pursuing on camera and now having worked on this experience and met the people in the gaming industry, I've completely pivoted and I'm full steam ahead mm -hmm. on voiceover and video games. I really, I love this world and I love this community. It's very special to be in an environment where everyone is so passionate about what they do and everyone is a fan. Yes. I think that's the biggest thing that's the surprise is everyone is a fan of each other. And yeah. we're all just fangirling on, the, uh, on each other's work. I mean, I think Lady D t uh, tapped into something really special though where people who weren't used to seeing themselves represented in games saw mm -hmm. themselves in her, you know, like the LGBTQ plus community. And she's an older presenting woman who is sexy. Like she's just so she's cool, yeah. you know? And I think that's something that people have really latched onto. Yeah, I absolutely agree. I think, I think Lady D is a nice big step forward in the <laughs> right <Literally>. direction. <laughs> big, big <laughs> step. Uh, but no, she's certainly not the end all be all of this push that we're seeing for diversity mm -hmm. and inclusion in, mm -hmm. in media, but I think she is a really exciting first step in that direction. And more importantly, what she does is showcases that there is a deep hunger and mm -hmm. thirst for these different stories and these different narratives. We want to see different characters on screen. There is a market. We're hungry for it. Come on, guys, give it to us. <laughs> We're ready. So I think that's really exciting. Yeah. Had you had a chance to play or, or look at any of the other nominees uh, from the awards this evening before you came? I confession, I am not You're a gamer busy. myself, mm -hmm. no so I've not played, but I have looked at everyone's work and I'm so in awe of everyone. And now having met them, they're just all such goober little groups. <laughs> and it's I so exciting though, I'm sure as a performer, just to see what's possible in games. I think a lot mm -hmm. of people, maybe performers, are, or their eyes are being open to, oh, this isn't just voice work. This is full body performance mm -hmm. and there are accolades to be found and interesting stories to be told with it. Yeah. So cool. Yeah, it's exciting. It's a really cool industry with lots of new innovations happening mm -hmm. still. So it feels very exciting to be in that while we're while we're continuing to expand and grow. Were there any favorite scenes for you to to perform? Maybe with like the your daughters or anything like that? All of the scenes with family were fun yeah. because their family dynamics are interesting. <laughs> um, but I think probably for me the highlight was 
I've got to say the table flip scene. Yeah. I mean, my gosh, I got to literally throw something across a room and that's a bucket list <laughs> <laughs> right there. That's on the bucket list. So I got to do that. Before we let you go, yeah. Uh, now you mentioned bucket list. Mm -hmm. uh, is there anything you're ticking mm. off in the future that we can ask you about? Uh, nothing that I can divulge at this time. But you're a busy lady. But mm -hmm. I'm a very busy lady, and I hope to continue to be a very busy lady. And um, yeah, I'm just excited to be here. Well, we wow. want you to make the most of being here because one of our sponsors is Tattinger. So yes. I think you should go and drink some. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to. Thank you so much for being an excellent guest. And Thank congratulations. you. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. It's so nice to talk to you guys and you're very pleasant to talk to. Oh. So kudos. <laughs> well done, you. I really is tall. Yeah, you get a bath for <laughs> Oh, yeah. Ooh, we oh, hi. Yeah. Hello, I heard shoes. you were coming. I was just like, right, yeah. guys. Oh, that's bust them out. <laughs> we'll see you on the dance floor. Thank All you. Right. Oh, yay. I will. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Cheers.